Good morning. It's Wednesday morning at about 20 after 9 and I dropped the kids off at school and came home to make myself some breakfast and my, <laughs> my toaster just popped my toast into the sink, into a soapy bowl. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's never done that before. I mean, I know that I'm eating light bread, but really, right out of the toaster into the sink? It's, you know, it's, it's gotten slices half out of the slot before, but, you know, they fall forward onto the counter when that happens. The sink is next to the toaster. I don't understand how this happened. I didn't see it. I heard the noise. I went in to get my toast. It wasn't there. I looked to my left. It's in, it's, it's in the sink. <sighs> That's the kind of day it's going to be. I don't know. Anyway, I was just watching this video on CNN, I think it was from yesterday, a plane, I think it was a, it was a Southwest plane, in Houston, it was landing, and it popped a tire, you know, tire blew out, caught on fire, somebody caught it on camera, I don't know how, I don't know if, uh, just, just lucky, I guess, but, so, you know, you see it, you, you see the plane slowing down and the tire on fire and then you see the people coming off of the plane in the chutes, you know, the emergency chutes, the big fun slides that, that my kids always say they want to pop out. Um, so, you know, people are coming down and then I notice that a few women come down holding their purses. And, <laughs> I mean, this is the like emergency, okay? Someone has told you the plane is on fire. Get down the emergency, emergency chute and they've got their purses. And I'm laughing because I think I'd be right along with them. I think I'd, I would, my purse is under the seat, it's right in front of me, it's going to take me an extra half second to get it. You know, it's, but the thing is, I think it, it really would slow me down. You know, I mean, you know, bang on other seats, it would get in the way, it might get caught on something, but still, knowing this, I think I would try to grab my purse. I don't know why. I, but so, so I feel for them. And then this guy... <laughs> You, you see this lump come down. It looks like maybe somebody threw a baby or something, but it's, you know, it's, 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 this stuff comes down alone, and then a guy comes down after it. It's his briefcase and his papers, and he, you know, some of the papers start blowing away, and he's, like, right next to the on-fire plane, chasing his papers, <laughs> you know, as a fireman is kind of looking at him, like, what the hell are you doing? The plane's on fire. Get back. And um, the other striking thing about it is, Everybody exits the plane really quickly, and then they stand, like, 10 feet from the plane. Nobody's trying to back them up anymore. I, I mean, it's, it's a plane. It's got fuel. It's got wings full of fuel. I would think that you would want to run. I mean, if it's dangerous enough that they're getting you out of the chute with barely enough time to even grab your purse, I, I would think that then you would want to keep going so that if the plane blows up, you don't get hit by flying pieces of airplane. I don't know. I just, I, maybe it's because I knew that nobody died, nobody got hurt, but I found the entire video very, very comical. I'll link to it at the end of the post. But, um, yeah, not much else going on. I'm trying to find a babysitter for my kids after school. I haven't had a regular babysitter in a long time, but I, uh, it's warm again. The kids want to go to the playground every day after school. I think there's only one day a week when we can't. Um, my son still has Taekwondo Tuesday and Thursday, but it's not till 5.15, so we have plenty of time to go to the playground, then get home and get ready for that. And, you know, I feel like the time on the playground is just so wasted for me. It's not quality time with my kids. I'm sitting on a bench. I'm talking to other parents, which can be fun, but frankly, I'd rather be at home getting stuff done. So I put out the call to find somebody else's babysitter to take them to the playground. I don't want to arrange something. You know, it's, it's hard to find somebody to just take your kids to the playground. I want them to go with another babysitter. But, you know, it's, uh, I'm not into that. It's not, people look at me funny when I get all pissed off about having to go to the playground every day, but it's, it's like two hours out of my day when I could be doing something else. My kids are having a great time, but they don't need me there to do that. They're playing with their friends. You know, I, I met another parent the other day. She was a homeschooling parent. And I'm not even going to get into what I think about homeschooling parents, but she she found out that the name of my blog was Selfish Mom, and she said, "Oh, I guess you're one of those parents who's really happy at the end of summer that your kids get to go back to school." I laughed and said, "No, no, I'm not, 
because their summer camp has a longer day than their school day, so summer I actually see them less. You know, it's it, it drives me crazy, this idea that that the more time you spend with your kids, the better parent you are. Now, don't get me wrong, I spent the first two years at home with my kids, each one of them. Um, I think by the time they were one, I would have a babysitter come in for like something small. It was like 10 hours a week to, uh, you know, just, just kind of take care of them while I got some errands done, maybe went out to lunch, something just for myself. But other than that, I was home with them for two years solid, each one of them. So, you know, it's, it's not that I don't see the value in it, but then by two years, we were sick of each other. You know, by then, they need to be around other kids. They need to be out doing their thing and learning how to get along in the world. And I was very, very, very happy to start them both in school at two. And even then, it was only a couple days a week, but, you know, it, it, it quickly grew to three, then four. And then finally, pre-K, full-time. But, um, yeah, I, it's, it's not about quantity. There's nothing righteous about me going to the playground and sitting on a bench for two hours. And there's also no value in me going to a playground and playing with them for two hours because they're five and seven. They need to play with their friends. But, anyway, looking at these flowers behind me. I love flowers. They're beautiful. But this is what happens when people give me flowers, okay? Wait, let me get out of the way so you can see. See that? They're dead. The ones on the right look kind of okay. But the middle, the, the middle bunch and the other bunch, they're dead. I bring them home. I let them sit there until they die, it, until they're, they're completely dead and the water is like this funky brown and smells. So if you give me flowers, just know that that's what will happen. But I them for a few days while they were still alive. All right. I think I'm delaying, so I don't have to start work, but I have to get to work. Have a great day.